Hi everybody. Scopolamine. Columbia's Devil's Breath drug information from SoCal Rehab Facility dated May 15, 2012. There is a video out on this and they talk about it in this article. The drug is known as scopolamine or devil's breath and is used as a kind of mind control agent to reduce people's free will and coerce them into doing things. Scopolamine is a new drug, well not new per se, but it is new to us, that a recent expose from Vice.com via CNN has brought to to our attention. The drug reminds his writer of Rohypnol or Roofies because it is used to take advantage of people. The main difference between scopolamine and Roofies is that people who are under the influence of scopolamine <coughs> excuse me, can be alert and articulate and yet unable to resist suggestion. And here is a picture of the plant so that you know what it looks like. You can do a search for that on the internet too because it is out there. That's how I found this. Per the Vice.com article and video, the drug is so notorious that when they went to Columbia to seek out the drug, the responses that they got were fearful and suspicious. Before getting the processed drug, the team visited a botanical garden where they found the Borochero tree, a Dechera plant that contains Burundanga, that's pronounced right, which is the active ingredient scopolamine. The Borochero tree is native to Colombia, Venezuela, and Ecuador, and the active ingredient Burundanga is taken from the cacao seeds. Disturbing accounts of scopolamine abuses. The video documentary interviews many people who have dis experienced scopolamine both as victim and perpetrator. The victim leaves many questions. Oh, sorry. The video leaves many questions like for instance how the drug can apparently hypnotize people, rendering them powerless to resist suggestion, but still completely articulate. But in other cases, makes people instanta instantly unconscious. Many accounts discuss devil's breath, high instance of deadly overdose. Also, there are varying accounts of being able to swipe someone's face or blow the drug into someone's face and then control their mind through the power of suggestion. This drug's reputation seems to be mixed in with a little bit of local folklore and superstition, much as the hallucinogenic drugs like DMT aka Cohoba are in the voodoo culture of Haiti. One thing that the video makes the viewer acutely aware of is that Columbia is a dangerous place and participating in the nightlife there as a tourist or a resident is fraught with peril. Columbia is known for being the cocaine capital of the world. One in three kidnappings that happen in the world happen in Columbia. The interviewees who discuss being closed dosed with scopolamine have crazy stories that usually end with waking up after a blackout and then retroactively piercing together piecing together what happened under the drug's influence. Very commonly the victim is taken to their ATM for a major withdrawal and more than one reported helping the perpetrators empty their house of all their belongings, sometimes in the plain view of people who knew them. A prostitute in the video discusses with cold-blooded 
practicality, how she can use devil's breath to take advantage of men in the bars and nightclubs. Scopolamine is used as a date rape drug. Dangers of scopolamine, per the Colombians, the drug is called devil's breath because it steals your soul. We have come across such variety, large variety of hallucinogens in other tw in our 25 years of treating addiction that it is safe to say that even beyond the risk of fatal overdose, scopolamine is not a safe recreational drug. Scopolamine has been used for a variety of medicinal purposes including uh, as a sedative and to treat nausea and motion sickness. Scopolamine has even been researched to treat addiction which doesn't surprise considering the other research that has been done with hallucinogens like Ao, Aya, Huasca, and Ibogaine. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. However, while many drug users who are fond of hallucinogens feel righteous about using them because of their natural origin and long history of use back to ancient times, we warn strongly for users to beware of hallucinogens. Incidentally, the street drug, Devil's Breath, that was purchased in the Vice.com documentary, was processed and powdered. It looked like cocaine. Many of the uses in the Vice.com documentary talked about memory loss. One man has continual memory loss and also suffers terrifying nightmares since his use. This is consist consistent with other accounts we've seen of heavy hallucinogen use. Also, we know that people who have psychedelic experiences using hypnotic drugs like scopolamine have also reported longer-term mental health use issues like depression, confusion, and in extreme circumstances, psychotic episodes. The potential to go into a dis dissociated state can leave someone with a lingering traumatic effects. With scopolamine seems to be a predatorial drug that is foisted upon unsuspecting targets by people aiming to do them harm. We do not hesitate to suspect that the drug can and will be used for recreational pleasure. This is similar to the drug Rufi's Rohypnol which is primarily known as the date rape drug but also is, abu is abused as the party drug. Now one thing that comes to mind about this article is that they could be using this as a way of mind control um, if they're not using pills or if a, a, a person that is that was under uh, psychotic drugs and is no longer under psychotic drugs, that they could be using this for just the normal person to take control over them and forcing them to do things against their will. So keep that in mind and be aware. Thanks for listening. God bless.